Hey guys, this is MJ with, with another tutorial whether how we can show only subtotals on QuickBooks invoice. Well, in QuickBooks Desktop, users can access and modify invoice templates through the templates feature. This provides a user-friendly interface for making changes to the layout and design of the invoice, allowing the businesses to create professional and customized invoices. And sometimes, certain clients have specific requirements regarding the format of the invoice, and customizing templates allows the businesses to accommodate these preferences according to the needs of their clients. Like recently, Joy has commented on one of my tutorials and asked whether is there any way to show just the subtotals on the invoices without all the items. So I guess, while creating the invoices, Joy doesn't want to show the items on the invoices he wants to send to his customers. So just for the sake of example, I'm creating an invoice which includes both services and inventory items, including subtotals, to make my understanding clear about the Joy's requirements. And to keep it simple, I'm just removing the unit of measurement. Now, when you see the preview of this invoice, this is how it looks like. And I guess what Joy wants is to not to show the items field on the invoice. And the second thing is that he wants to show the subtotals separately. And we know that we can change the description of items to whatever we want. Now, let's see what we can do in the design layout. So I'm closing this window and clearing this invoice. Now go to the templates under the list menu and you will see a list of templates which includes invoices too. And we sure can pick any and edit its design. But instead of picking any of them, it's a good idea to create a new one. So select new under templates menu. Here select invoice and then click on OK. Well, I'm changing the name of the template to sample invoice and then click on OK. And here you can see that the name of the template has been changed. Then click on additional customization and under columns tab. Check this checkbox for items field so that this field show up while printing. Then click on OK and click on OK again to save the changes. And here you can see that a simple sample invoice template has been created. Now let's create an invoice by using this template. So go to create invoices and select the sample invoice template we have just created. Here, select your customer and add your items. And for convenience, I'm adding both services and inventory items, including subtotals. Now, when you see its preview, this is how it's looked like. Now we know that Joey's requirement is to not to show the items and also he wants to show the subtotals separately. Now close this window and change the description of the items to whatever you like. And let's say you add discount to this invoice too. And we know that we can write the discount amount in terms of both percentage and dollar amount. And if you don't know how to add discount to invoices, please watch my tutorial named Applying Discount to Invoices in QuickBooks Desktop. And I will give its link in the description for your convenience. And when you look at the preview, Here you can see that the discount amount has also been added now. Please ignore its description. I forgot to change it. Now let's change it according to the Joy's requirements. So go to Customize Data Layout under Formatting tab. 
here under columns tab check these two check boxes and write the name of this field subtotals and then click on OK and here you can see that a new column has been created on the invoice and this is how it will look like now let's remove the unit of measured column so go back to customize data layout and under columns tab uncheck the concerned checkboxes And when you click on print preview, here you can see that the unit of measure column is not showing up anymore. Now let's change other things. So go to layout designer and here we can make changes according to our needs. And since we don't want to show the items, what we can do here is either double click on this field or right click on it and select properties. It will open the same pop-up window. Here under the text tab, change the font color to the invoice background color, which is white. And exactly the same way, change the font color of the amount field too. And click on OK. And when you see the print preview, here you can see that the font color of the items and amount fields have changed to white but it is still showing on the grading lines which we will remove in a mint but first let's add subtotals so close this and click on ok to save the changes well the subtotal column we added is a text-based column so just write the subtotals amount manually Well, some discount has been applied to these two products and the subtotal of them is $325. But I'm putting $300 here by deducting the discount amount. And when you will see the preview, this is how it will look like. Well, you can put that in parentheses like this on the subtotal line, which will show up like this. Or you can put it like this, which will show up like this. It's just a matter of choice. Anyhow, let's get rid of the grading lines. So go to the main menu and instead of selecting any option from the print drop down menu, just click on the print. And as soon as you will click on the print, the QuickBooks first save the invoice and then will open this window. And when you see the preview, this is how the grading lines are showing up on the invoice. And to remove them, just uncheck this checkbox. And when you see the preview again, here you can see that the grading or shading on every other line has disappeared. And at this point in time, you can see that the items are not visible and the subtotals are being shown separately on the invoice. But remember, the subtotal column we added was text-based column, which means that the calculation on this section is not based on the subtotal column. Instead, it's still based on the amount column. So what we can do here is to change the font color of some fields to white, which is the invoice background color. So close these windows and go to the layout designer. And you can change the alignment of the other fields to center if you want. And then just change the font color of the concerned fields according to your needs. And then click on OK. And click on OK again. And when you see the preview, this is how the invoice will look like.
it's showing nothing on the items amount total credits and balance fields whereas subtotals are being shown separately and i'm assuming that you want to put something manually after printing the invoice that's why i have changed the font color of these fields too and when you save the invoice as a pdf file This is how it will look like. And if you don't want to show the amount column too, just uncheck its checkbox and it won't show up. And this is how you can customize the invoice from this to this to this. and hope it will give you some more idea about the customization of the invoice according to your needs. And if you have stayed this far, please consider supporting by liking, subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.